Begin by watching the picking an image video to make sure you know the three criteria required for an image that will work in vCarve Desktop. Um, I recommend doing things with thick solid lines over um, really thin line drawings. Uh, so the machine here has what's called a V-bit and the tip is the thinnest point and it goes you know, wider um, the deeper it goes. So if it were to cut out something like this really thin line drawing, it would just be using the very tip of the drill bit or cutting bit to do that. And you're, ba you're basically gonna get little scratches in the wood. You're not gonna get a very deep cutout. Uh, to get deeper cutouts, the bit has to go, you know, wider. So the wider the line, the deeper the drill bit can go to make that cut and the better you're going to be. So you can try to see if uh, visit will work for some images like this image. If I click visit, um, they're going to try to sell it to me for $3 and I don't want to pay any money for it. Um, so I could right click and just choose save image as and save that image. Now this is an AVF file, so that actually will not work. Um, you gotta make sure it's a JPEG, uh, PNG, etc. So I'm gonna click this image, and let's right click and click Save Image. And this is a PNG, that should work just fine. So we're gonna go to Downloads and click Save, and save that image. Okay. Then we're going to go onto your desktop and you're going to look for vCarve Desktop uh, and double click to open vCarve Desktop. You're going to start by clicking Create New File. And we're going to go through the settings job type, single sided, leave it alone. Uh, job size, change 10 to 3.5. That's the width, change the height to 3.5. So we have a 3.5 by 3.5 square. And thickness, change 0.5 to 0.3. Make sure you still choose inches or have inches chosen. Uh, make sure zero Z position is material surface. Um, really important, this XY datum position, it's the bottom left currently. You need to choose the top left. Um, if these two are not set correctly, machine surface and XY datum position, your file will not work on the machine. So these are extremely important. Um, as far as modeling resolution, uh, standard fastest is good. Um, appearance doesn't really matter. It's just going to be what it looks like when you run a simulation, so it doesn't really matter what you have chosen there. Okay, click OK, and you're now going to get into the um, toolbar that you can start working with. So the first thing we need to do is open up your image. So you have at the top here a little folder with a picture in there. That's going to basically open the image or import bitmap for tracing is what it's calling it. It basically opens your image and allows you to the computer to trace it out. So click there. I'm going to go to downloads where I saved my image and I have um, a couple images because I've saved a few of them. I'm going to pick one and click open. And that's going to put the image on my screen. Now, don't worry about the image size. We can always change the size later. So if it's too small and you want to make it bigger, if it's too big and you need, need to make it smaller, um, we'll worry about that later. Okay, so you want to trace it out and then you can change the size of the trace out. So under Create Vectors, bottom left of this box, it says Trace Bitmap. So click that. And if it has color selected, you want to choose black and white. Now, it's not talking about, like, what yours is going to look like when it's done or what color your image was. It's just basically, do you want to pick every single color that the computer either traces or does not trace, or do you just want to 
basically say yes, no, trace or don't trace. Black and white is a lot easier than trying to pick every single color you want the image, to, the computer to pay attention to in your image. Uh, sometimes you have to do color, but generally try black and white first. Grab this bar with your mouse and you're going to pull it down a little bit. Uh, so you have to click with the left mouse button and pull. Um, you can't just use the trackpad to do this. I know you guys are used to Chromebooks, but uh, you have to click the mouse button and pull that down. Then click preview. It will give you a preview of what this is tracing. Basically, it looks pretty good. I am not really crazy about what's going on in the tail right here, but I'm going to click apply and close and take a look at what it happens. So you want to click on your original image. You can right click and delete that and then basically just look at your trace out. And now I can select by making a box around this, uh, make it that pink magenta color. And now I can click under edit objects. I can click transform mode. And this is where I can make it bigger or smaller. So basically you you can't have it like touching the edges, you know, if it's too big, you need to make it a little smaller. If it's too small, you need to make it a little, and you want to make it a little bigger. Obviously you just grab the handles and the corners and move it. Now this is no longer in the center. So I'm going to click this little align selected object and top center says, um, both vertical and horizontal center. So I'm going to click there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click close. Um, if at any point you need to save, go ahead and click file, uh, save as. And for you guys, you're going to want to go down to where it says this computer. And then look at one of these. One of these should have your grad year, your last name, the first three letters of your first name. One of these network drives. Um, should be a place that you can save and access from any uh, computer in the future. I'm just going to save to this computer's desktop. If you save to that computer's desktop, you have to continually use that computer um, to pull open this file next time you want to work with it. So save so that you don't lose any of your information. And then in the future, you can just click the save, quick save and it'll save, uh, it'll update. Okay, now we want to click this button that says uh, select the toolpath or switch to toolpath commands. So a little arrow up here, click, and now uh, make sure your image is selected in purple or pink rather if it's black like that. Start at the bottom, make a box around it and make it all that uh, magenta color. Okay, then you're going to click this V-Carve engraving toolpath under toolpath operations. This is the second one down on the left. And then yours will probably say none, you know, flat depth, start depth 0.0, .0 inches. Uh, put a check mark next to flat depth and it should be 0.125 like I have in here, that yours will probably be 1.0 the first time you do it, but you can change it to 0.125. Um, Vbit 90 degree 1.25 is the correct tool. Don't change that, don't change any of this stuff. And at the bottom, click Calculate. And then you should kind of see these red lines are where the uh, mean machine will basically be moving around. Um, to make this. Click preview all toolpaths and that will actually show you what your cutout will end up looking like. And well I'm not crazy about it, it worked. Um, so I'm going to click close and then you got to put a check mark up in this box under toolpaths and you want to click save toolpath then you want to click save toolpath and at this point, uh, you'll still need to get a flash drive and basically you put the flash drive in um, your computer, the side of your computer. And then uh, when you put the flash drive in there, it'll install the software. And then when you click this PC or 
computer, um, you will look for the flash drive and you will save it as your period number followed by your last name. So if I was in first period, I would save it as one Catherine. Um, now I'm going to go again to the desktop and I'm going to click save and save that to the desktop. And then I can close this and I want to click back over and I want to click quick save because I just created a toolpath. I want to update and save this file with the toolpath as well. And uh, that is it. You're done and ready for me to cut it.